good morning long time no see and this video is definitely going to be not a long one because I actually have to get ready and I figure why not get ready and explain where the heck I've been you know I just got everything out I'm gonna take a quick pause to get changed grab my wig and then we'll be back to put my makeup on all right, so I'm back. <laughs> I look a lot better, don't I? I um, put a wig on, first of all, and this is how it's looking. I am not a wig connoisseur. This is just a synthetic wig I got off of um, Main Gang or something. I don't know. I saw a YouTube video. The girl looked good. I said, okay. It was like, I think this one was like $15 or like $14. So I was trying to like, because it doesn't need to be like sitting, like you know what I mean? It doesn't need to be sitting, it just needs to be sitting for this Zoom call. They can't see all my edges and stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I changed my shirt to like this just plain mom life shirt because I'm not going nowhere. And I'll explain to you why. So let's get started now. My lighting will change because my mirror lights up, but oh girl, widow's peak. Yay, yay. So my lighting may change because I'm using a mirror that's gonna light up, but let's go ahead and get popping with this video now that I have on <laughs> um, everything that I need to have on. So, all right, so first I want to say I apologize for my hiatus, even though there's not, I don't have that many followers or subscribers, whatever, it's still, kind of like dang you kind of dropped off the face of the earth because like I was doing like cleaning videos and like eat with me's and all that stuff and uh yeah uh <laughs> funny story it's been so long since I put makeup on it's been since July and it's September so I hope I'm doing this right but yeah, so it's been, um, so I started back school June. I started back during the summer semester and it's been going good. Um, I'm finishing up my prereqs to hopefully, God willing, um, get into the ADN program here where I live. And, um, you know, so I've been really focusing on that because where I'm down to my last, like, the kind of the classes that matter the most. Hold on. I'm finishing up the um, last few prereqs I need for the class, for the uh, ADN program. And um, I technically could apply for the spring, but I'm not ready. Neither are my grades. I just recently brought my GPA up to where it needs to be to get into the program. So, and I need to keep it there. And I wanna bring it at least a few points higher. And in order for me to do that, I'm gonna need to take the spring semester the way I have it. So, um, cause I'm really wanting to get into that program. Like this has been a dream for a very long time. But yeah, um, yeah. So during the summer, uh, I broke my leg on a hike. It was, it's funny how it happened. I had just finished my bone lab exam and <laughs> I was like, you know, me and my best friend, we have been planning hiking for a while and you know, I kept rain checking, rain checking, rain checking. And you know, I was just like, you know what? Not this time. So we went on this hike. We went through the whole entire hike by the way, we went through the whole entire hike. It wasn't a long hike, it was just very steep. It was a difficult hike, you know? And um, yeah, so we made it, we made it, and then we're on our way back, you know, it's still difficult. You know, she hikes all the time, and you know, I only get to go every now and again, so you know, she had more momentum build up to me, not to mention, you know, she's a lot smaller than me, so. Um, but yeah, so we go through the whole entire hike, literally the whole entire hike. And then on the way down, I slipped and fell on my leg and I broke it. 
like I broke my ankle. I broke my fibula and I fractured some of my tibia. So uh, I had to have surgery a week after that. This all happened back in July. I had to have surgery a week after that. They cut open my leg. It was an outpatient surgery, so I wasn't there for very long. I was long, I feel like, I mean, anesthesia knocks you out anyway, but I feel like I was longer recovering than I was actually in the surgery. I mean, they got me in there real fast. Um, I gotta make sure this looks all right. I haven't put makeup on in like forever. Like, I broke my leg, so I've been on crutches. So that's kind of why there was like a dip in, um, a dip in videos like I couldn't record I couldn't cuz I mean if you go back you can clearly see I started off as a makeup channel but you know things are kind of changing and you know I started doing clean with me's and things like that and I really enjoyed it and then all of a sudden it just stopped and that is the reason because mama bum broke her leg okay <laughs> I broke my leg anywho so yeah so I broke my leg, so I've been recovering from that. And you know, that was difficult, especially being by myself, like a single parent with three boys. Um, thank God my son started walking at nine months <laughs> because, and he's a year now, well, he's over a year now. He's like 13 months, almost 14 months. But um, thank God he started walking because it was, it was difficult. Like, it was very difficult. You always, oh God, it was hard. So yeah, so I broke my leg and I've been recovering from that, but I have about six weeks left in the boot, so that makes me feel a lot better. So then, um, so another reason why <laughs> I've been gone, yeah, is because um, my kids started remote learning. And it's crazy because I actually initially chose for them to do remote learning just to see how, you know, the wave went this fall. And then obviously if things get better in the spring, then they're going to go back in person. But I chose because I was home anyway with a broken leg and I can't go to work and all that stuff with COVID and all that. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be home anyway. It is what it is. So. And they go every now and again. Um, they go for like assessments and all that. But kind of what happened next because everything was kind of happening one after the other after the other. I broke my leg. Let me move that. I broke my leg. I started school. I broke my leg. They started remote learning. And then I had like finals for my summer semester. Pulled out with two A's. And then my fall semester started four days later. Um, I have a Zoom call at 10, at 11.30, so I, you know, have to make sure that I keep on schedule. Keep on trucking, trucking, and trucking, trucking. That concealer. I forgot how much I love doing this. I really did. I'm so used to not wearing it now. But I forgot how much I actually enjoyed this. But that does not mean I'm about to put on a wig and some makeup for nothing. Unless I have a, uh-oh. Unless I have a Zoom call, this stuff is not being put on my face. I, for what? What, for what? What is it? So yeah, so I have about six weeks left in this boot. And once my six weeks are up, so basically now what I'm, where I'm at, I'm 50% weight bearing, so I can walk in the boot. It's been a difficult, it's been difficult walking in the boot, but, um, it's it's uh it's it's good it feels good to be walking like it feels good to be walking and talking and or talking <laughs> it feels good to be walking like it feels good to be moving and like I said earlier I'm finishing up my last few prereqs um, I have two more classes to go and that's coming up in the spring and I'm actually more nervous about those two classes than I was about the classes that I'm in now the classes I took over the summer was AP1 in speech and today or this fall I'm in AP2 in psychology and then um, this spring I'm actually taking um, microbiology and problem stats and based on my history in school 
I'm nervous about those two. Honestly, taking anatomy and physiology one and two has helped a bunch ah. as well. So I'm not as nervous, but I still am because based on prior history, I did not do very well in that class when I went to my local university a few years ago. So I'm nervous about that, but those are my last two classes I have to take. And then I have to take an entrance exam, which I had no idea about. So that's why, you know what, I'm like, springtime is better because I cannot do this with a broken leg. You know, I can do my classes online and whatever, but I cannot do a broken leg whatsoever. So, yeah. So that's pretty much everything that's been going on pretty much. That's the finished look. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done that. I'm like, what do I do? Like, oh my God. But yeah, so that's pretty much the reason why I've been gone. I mean, I started school, I broke my leg. My kids started remote learning, you know, stuff like that, like everyday life. And, you know, I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going to work. Because in the beginning, I worried about it a lot. I was like, where in the world? What in the world? How in the world am I going to keep up my YouTube? Like, I feel like I just found my niche. Am I going to lose it? You know, and I think it had to happen. And when I say that, a lot of people are like, you sound nuts, girl, you sound nuts. But I honestly truly think it had to happen because it kind of humbled me a little bit to kind of sit still and really think about where I want to go with my life. And becoming a nurse is like one of my top priorities. I've already sat my kids down, at least my oldest two, and I explained to them the importance of the sacrifices that are about to have to be made. And they understand, like they're about to be seven and six, so they're not like totally out the way but, but yeah so they understand and they're pretty understanding kids I have to admit I'm I've been very blessed with the children that I've been blessed with so but yeah so um and then the last thing would be <laughs> a little goofball the last thing would honestly be where my channel plans to go I plan to kind of keep my channel like around my life clearly and you know and I just want to do that so you know I plan to still do my cleaning videos and everything after that but I also plan to kind of incorporate my nursing journey and like all of that because I I have so much I have so many plans for me and my kids do I look different do I look that different I have so many plans for me and my boys you know, I just feel like I want to have that type of video diary almost, you know, just kind of <laughs> just kind of like following the the process and the journey and things like that. So, you know, I do already have a couple of like videos recorded of me studying and stuff. So I want to incorporate that as well into my channel. No, Bubba. And, um yeah so that's pretty much i plan to like keep my channel pretty much the same you know cleaning videos you know grocery hauls things like that things that i was doing before i broke my leg i plan to do that but i also want to incorporate kind of like my nursing journey and like nursing videos and things like that so yeah i hopefully will be back um i'm i may you know have a couple videos come up in the next few weeks but i won't be like truly truly back to recording until probably like thanksgiving christmas time so hopefully i'll have a clean with me coming that day and decorate with me and things like that and um yeah so that's pretty much the reason why i've been gone and me coming back so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for sticking around and you know just you know being patient <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you guys sticking around for the long haul and being patient and all of the above um, hit that like button down below, subscribe down below, join me over here and uh, my little world, <laughs> my boys and me and my craziness of everyday life. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!